Okie dokie. Hey everyone, welcome to Kip TV. I am Kip, and today, welcome to my classroom of casting TF2. Uh, in this tutorial, I will show you how to set up your custom HUD, import uh, or get STV demos working, little basics of casting, and then a little basics of editing for your newfound career. So, uh, welcome. Um, yeah, oh, that's what I want to do. So anyway, let's start at the beginning. Um, I'm streaming this, I think. I don't know why people are watching this. This is my third take, and uh, every my previous take was 20 minutes of complete silence because my microphone wasn't working. Anyway, <laughs> let's go to my YouTube page. Hopefully something you're very familiar with. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with this, which is the up or updated Kip TV hug. Hug. HUD. <laughs> Um, made uh, by my wonderful friend, uh, Dell. It is a combination of XTV HUD and also the uh, TeamFortress.tv HUD. So what you're going to do is download it. I already have it downloaded right here. And it will unzip in WinRAR. Nobody likes WinRAR. Of course everybody likes WinRAR. But, uh, so let's find uh, where to put this. And with the new Steam pipe, it's a little more complicated than it was before. But I guess not really. Uh, just only if you're familiar with before, you will find this complicated. Anyway, so look, C, Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps. And then um, previously where you would have gone to your username, you go to Common, the, t the game, and then TF. TF folder is going to be your best friend. I suggest putting it under your favorites, as I have. And now, in here is a custom folder. This should be empty. There may be a README text, I think, in there. Uh, what you want to do is just go ahead and drag this over. Uh, I'm not going to do that because it is already here. If you open it, you see you have your resources, script, sound, and etc. Make sure, though, this is all in a HUD file, otherwise it will not work. So, that is pretty much your custom HUD. We'll, I'll show you how to enable the Advanced Spectator HUD in-game. But uh, that is pretty much it for the HUD. So let's go find some STV demos. How about that? How about that? Now, an STV demo is Source TV demo. <laughs> it, uh, it is a uh, recording that allows you to go through every player point of view in the match. So let's find uh, some STV demos. A good place to go is to VanillaTF2.org. Uh, if you go to demos, they will have some other bigger games that they have casted. Uh, make sure you get the STV demo, otherwise you'll get a player POV. Now they have a lot of uh, sixes stuff, some ETFTOL Highlander, um, but go ahead and click right there and then it will start, um, start downloading. Now we don't want that one, but uh, that's how it goes. Similar if you go to ETF2L.org, uh, which is a European Highlander or European TF2, other demos, and you'll find some really nice demos that uh, Frequently updated. This one was updated today. Now, again, you want to make sure you have your source TV, otherwise you'll be stuck in a um, a one character, one player's point of view, which is not what you want. Again, just click download. Oh, wait, that that'll take you to that'll take you to uh, the the match page. But then actually, that's good. That gives you a lot of information. But then it'll download. You'll get a, a RAR a RAR file. Oh, I want it actually. Uh, do something with this. So, um, well, you see all my downloads of this. As it is downloading, we'll just wait. Actually, we'll just, we'll just cancel this because I'm impatient. But, uh, so in the downloads folder, this is a match I downloaded earlier, which is a granary. Uh, when you unzip it, you'll find that it's a .dem file. Make sure it's .dem and make sure there are no spaces in the title. Otherwise, it will not open in TF2. So now that we have that, let's go back to our TF, our TF folder. All you have to do is take the granary or the, the .dem file and drag it in there. Um, I already have that uh, specific match right in there, so it uh, I don't want to go ahead and replace it. Anyway, so as you can see, I have a lot of uh, .dems in here. These are a bunch of games that I have to cast. <laughs> and that is... Uh, that is pretty much your .dems. It's really easy, uh, and then I'll show you how to open it. But um, that is pretty much it for getting STV demos. I just want to plug real quick UGC Live, which is a hub for all sorts of UGC casting. Uh, basically, if you're signed up with them and you have UGC 
in your title of a game that you upload to YouTube, you'll be featured on here. So as you can see, there's me, there's Team Fortress 2, XTV, uh, Blackout Gaming, and then there's also Map Analysis, but... Uh, those aren't as updated as frequently. But anyway, if once you establish your channel, if you have a lot of casts, uh, but then you want a lot of you want access to STV demos from UGC, you could go ahead and uh, fill out an application for a UGC Live. Um, so that's just one thing. And if you do that, uh, you will get access to this, which is um, a plethora, but not well, a plethora is not the word, a smorgasbord. I guess it's a smorgasbord of uh, HTV or STV demos of UGC games. Um, so again. This will basically take you to, come on, all right. It'll take you to a Dropbox or a 404 link. <laughs> so, uh, okay, yep. So uh, some of these aren't uh, that free, that uh, updated. So uh, ETF2L is your best chance, or just getting uh, games from your friends. Why are ten people watching this? I don't know. Anyway. Let's move on to TF2. All right, so make sure you start up your game. Be in offline mode. Hello, that was really loud. Uh, for me, at least. Make sure you're in offline mode, otherwise you'll get annoying Steam messages, and nothing is more annoying than seeing somebody get Steam messages, but not you. So for the viewer, you don't want that. Anyway, let's pull up... Um, first, let's go to Advanced Options. Make sure... Use Advanced Vector Hate... You know, this word, these words. Make sure that's... Uh, that's clicked. Um, I start off in uh, 1280 times 720 because that is what's what I'm used to. I was told it's the best ratio for uploading videos to YouTube. I, I actually have found it doesn't make too much of a difference. Probably for people who are really tech savvy, it's a huge difference, but for me, I really I can't see anything. And then I run a window so then I can click in and out easily without having to L-tab and give my computer a headache. So that's Pretty much it. Um, now, let's bring up the demo UI, which is a demo user interface. You want to shift F2. We'll bring this up, and it is your best friend. Come on. And then we're going to go ahead and load a match. Um, going to do a match that I've previously casted before, because I knew it was super, super awesome. And um, I just want to give you some basic tips then when you are um, into casting. But first, let's uh, let's explore the demo UI and playback. All right, so right now we are in the STV demo. Yay! Um, you can tell it just started because we have all these uh, server stuff going on. Now, there are no players here. Fortunately, the team that gave this to me was kind enough to give me a tick for when everything does start. But if you're not fortunate enough to get this, you have to fast forward 600%. And this was a huge, huge file, so... It's going to take a while. So we're just going to go to the tick, um, which was 524400. So as you can, so if it gets into six digits, it's 560, whatever. It, this is a big, this is a big one. <laughs> uh, I've gotten STV demos that are 24 hours long and um, nobody gave me a tick. So it's, it's pretty essential that you give your casters ticks, guys. Um, otherwise, you can spend most of the time you're supposed to be casting just finding where the game is. Anyway, this was, whoa, uh, this was the uh, third round of a really exciting match that, um, oh my goodness, this is annoying. We're just going to have it resume and uh, fade, finally, okay. Uh, all right, so we'll bring that uh, user interface back up. It is paused currently. It, this is all really choppy because I guess I'm recording with OBS and it doesn't like that. Um, I forgot to open Fraps. Damn. Because <laughs> uh, sometimes Fraps is the recording software you want to use for to record your games. Um, it costs usually. Oh, usually when I open it, it doesn't work. Yeah, you have to open it first and then you have to open TF2. Um, yeah, so it's not working right now. So we're gonna, we're gonna just redo this. Gonna, gonna get out. Now, fortunately with Steampipe, TF2 loads so much more faster than it uh, used to, so this is not as big as a headache as it was, but, um, okay, so that's what we want when you record the fraps, is the yellow number in the corner. Uh, let's, oh, let's just go over fraps real quick, but first let's load our, down, our game, because that took a bit that we want that bad water. All right, so fraps, 
yes, you have to buy a license. As you can see, it's single user license. You can't share with anybody. You can illegally download it, but I don't support that. Or maybe I do, but uh, it doesn't give you the same... Uh, it's not, I don't know, whatever. We do what you want, I don't care. But then um, what you want to do for recording games is basically it, it does everything for you. Uh, 29.97 FPS, microphone, record Windows sound. Uh, everything is standard. I've used these settings for over a year, so pretty much everything is good to go right there. All right, so back to the game. Oh, right, we got to get to our sweet third round. As, uh, again, remember, yellow numbers ticking in the corner is good. I definitely tried to record with fraps and didn't have fraps going. Um, also, things to make sure before you start casting. Uh, make sure your microphone is not muted. Make sure you don't have to go to the bathroom. Make sure you have water near you. Um, oh my god! That happened again. I don't know why I thought it wouldn't. Is it, is it done? Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we are in the game. We have our spectator HUD because we have that enabled. We have our demo thing up. Um, we are good to go. So let us now talk demo playback. So let's. Okay, so first you want to do. Um, if you just want to mess around with these controls, like resume, obviously it's going to press. That's going to play. Um, as you can see, we did hear a little bit of a sound there in the corner. So, um, let's voice in the, oh, la, 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 enable zero, we'll mute all in-game sound, uh, all talking in chat, in-game chat. All right, so now that we're in the STV, let's talk point of view. So this is player point of view. We're right now on the Kazer cam, uh, spy, of course. If we, okay, let's go to somebody who's not, who's visible. Uh, so let's go on the McBacon cam. Uh, this is going to be over the shoulder or third person. And then if we go one more, that's free cam. And with this, we can move with our WASD, uh, WASD keys. So you can do whatever you want with your mouse. It is definitely a skill that you have to get used to and not being jerky. I'm definitely still not the best uh, camera woman, but uh, there's some pretty sweet people out there who can just like make it flow like butter. But um, yeah, I can't do that. Anyway, um, then uh, other essential keys or essential things that you will need in um, in casting is going to have your swim up and swim down. So I have those bound to uh, Q and E. And what those do is Q, go straight up, E, go straight down. So that's essential in getting all sorts of fun angles and going through... Uh, going through walls and whatnot, but of course you want to avoid going through walls. So now that we have started, let's let's talk casting. Well, first I'm going to pause it, and I have my resume and pause bound to certain keys. Um, I have mine on O and P. If you're so inclined to copy me, uh, that'd be swell. Uh, Getting some tips um, from Stream Chat. Shalag, of course, one of my favorite people, is a uh, low sensitivity for your mouse. Is yeah, I, I can't do that. I just can't do that. So, um, but that is one thing. If you want to experiment with, it definitely does make it smooth, smoother. All right. So then let's talk. Uh, since we are on camera work, let's talk camera work. Uh, I did post this casting tips um, a while ago, but I will again post this PDF uh, in this information. It is uh, tips that I accumulated from Eckstein, Sal, and Duder when I was first starting out, and they have continued to be a huge help. So, hopefully I can pass them on to you. I've added a few things, but uh, generally this is probably the most comprehensive um, guide that you can do to, for TF2 casting. So, uh, let's talk third-person cam, which was uh, one of the things that uh, I think it Duder helped me out with a lot. So now that we're in third person, it's uh, very helpful, uh, especially on this first point in bad water, to just pick a point and watch uh, so you can see what things are happening. Like right now, we can comment on the position of the blue sniper. We can comment on the position of the blue spy who just went down. Um, we saw a soldier jumping in there. Then we can also... I mean, there's a lot of things we could talk about right here. But the key is we're not, like, going like this. The key is we picked a spot and we're going to stick here. I mean, that's going to be similar for when we're on the second point and we want to see things going on in the roof. It's similar on 5CP when you just want to look at one point. 
when there's not a lot of action happening at one place, then that's when you want to go to individual cams. That's when you want to see two kinds get a sweet headshot on the engineer. That's when you want to see him take out this soldier. That's, uh, that's the stuff that's uh, fun to see. And you're not necessarily missing any huge action. You're just catching some sweet snipes. All right, so we'll pause that and go back to uh, what else we got going on. So, yeah, so in third person, keep the camera still, stay in a perch and stick with it. Um, oh, this was really helpful. Think security cameras on top of a grocery store. So uh, that hopefully will be helpful for you. Um, keep the camera on action, pretty easy, and uh, don't be afraid of first person. I generally like to do 50-50 first person and then third, or free cam. Third person is generally not so helpful, so let's let's look at third person right now. Because with third person, the, the player is going to be moving all sorts of ways, and you're going to have to keep it like somewhat steady on them. And just we saw that sweet snipe, but it really did nothing for us because uh, we were unable to see the the scope and the headshot. Now it's going to be different if you're like uh, specking a soldier and you're over his shoulder. You'll be able to see more of his rocket jumps. I'm assuming Scoffer's going to jump right here, so that's kind of cool being able to watch him like that. But I think it's more entertaining to watch from the first person point of view. We're able to see, oh my goodness, he's so close to getting the medic pick, but not able to do so. So um, that's third person generally should be avoided over the shoulder cam. It should be avoided. So that's some pretty basic things about, um, about camera work. Now let's talk about talking in general. You're going to have to get used to talking to yourself. Um, personally, I've been talking to myself for about an hour and a half. <laughs> and uh, still going strong. So that's something you definitely have to get used to. If you are fortunate enough to cast with uh, another person, that's something that's that's a whole other story. But that's the way you could talk to the person, have a dialogue, have a conversation, and it's less insane person talking to themselves. So then, uh, talking in general, standard public speaking rules apply, enunciation, uh, no using ums and uhs like I just did. Those were all tips from Sal, and Sal is, Sal is very good with his words and his voice. He's very pro, so definitely take all of this into heart, because that's, this is all uh, advice from him. Another thing to uh, think about is, instead of you know saying red team or blue team, write down the team names in the beginning, know what division they're in, know their records. I have a notebook where I keep all of that stuff in, um, right next to me with pen and paper so I can comment then as, uh, write down stuff as I come across it. Then also, team players, definitely look at your HUD, that's why we have it, to learn the names. Hopefully players tag up as what they are they want to be called, and uh, that will help you out right there. Uh, another things, get loud, don't be monotone. I think that tip is from Duder, and if you've ever seen Duder's cast, he has such extremes of voices that it's so entertaining to watch, and he gets really excited during really entertaining parts. So it's, and th that depends on the type of caster you want to be. Um, so depending if you want to be that uh, overly, ex not overly, but that excitable caster who gets excited with the players, gets really involved in the game, or if you want to be that more dry commentator that's strategic analysis, who's focusing on, uh, you know, the finer details than um, the overall emotions. So that's something up to you. And then my comment, I added this, is be confident, or at least pretend to be. <laughs> I won't tell you which one I am, but uh, it's pretty much this one. So yeah, just it's acting, and uh, yeah, good luck with that. All right, so then let's talk about talking strategy. Uh, pretty essential is don't explain standard spots unless you are doing TF2 for for beginners, um, which is definitely something that there's a market for. There are people who are just getting into competitive, and you want to explain like taking high ground is more important than being on low ground, or when you have an Uber advantage, that means you have more Uber than the other team. But in general, you want to point out stuff that is odd or different, and then um, make sure you can make a comment about that. So let's uh, let's go to the game real quick. Whoops, see you doodles. Now something that's odd or different is uh, red team is com almost completely wiped, but we still have hand please in here behind. So we can say something like, hand please, right now the only member of the red team is just trying to hold on to this point, but not able to do so with a nice bomb in here from Sherby. Uh, blue team now on a complete roll right here. Uh, so that is something interesting. Now we're going to talk about... Uh, let's go to the roof where we do have this major action going on. Uh, again, with major action going on, you want to go to third or uh, to free cam and so you can see everything that is happening right now. Blue team just destroying the roof. And now so something we can talk about instead of just uh, commenting like, yeah, so blue team is on the roof and they're... Um, 
Pushing the cart, we can talk about how blue team has the roof, but they have not capped second, and in fact, the cart is way back there. So we can talk about how now Kaiser is on the cart taking down two kinds, so blue team is actually having a little bit of trouble considering their significant uh, player advantage at the uh, end of that first cap. So we can talk about how red is getting these respawns and how that's going to change this dynamic of the second point. Um, so that's something to think about. What you want to think about is how not to uh, how not to cast, which is a super way of saying it. But uh, what you want to do is not comment specifically on what you're seeing. You want to comment on what you're not seeing and what you're thinking. So in my first cast, it was it was very it's very difficult to talk about things that. Um, are, I, I mean, they're more advanced. I mean, it's easy to talk about what's going on in camera. Like, Damano is now pushing onto the roof. His sentry gun, or his uh, minigun, is spun up with his medic. He has this uber, and they're gonna pop it. This is very similar, or, okay, so, like, yeah, he's popping it, and he's killing people, trying to take out the heavy. There you go. All right, so that's interesting enough. It is a pretty big play right there, so it's important to, to uh, narrate big plays. But at the same time, you can also say, like, well, this is very similar to their previous push onto the roof. However, something that's different is they have the player presence on the cart. This way, they're able to push forward, push the cart, get the cap, change the spawns. Alright, so that's a little bit more interesting than Damano is now running forward. And now he's spinning up again. And now he's turning the corner. He takes down the demo man. You see what I mean? I hope that's, uh, it's fairly obvious, but at the same time, you s casters sometimes fall into this rut of talking about only what they see on camera. And um, you don't have to do that. I mean, the viewer is looking at the same thing you are. You don't have to tell them that Lieutenant McBacon, I mean, you can comment the fact that he just got backstabs, because that's pretty huge. But you, c you don't have to say, like, Lieutenant Bacon was hitting his sentry gun. It is a level one right now. And you especially don't have to comment and be like, so Two Kinds is uh, in the sniper deck. He misses a shot. He uh, then gets a shot. Uh, now he's trying to go after the heavy and the medic. They are under the map room. I mean, like, that is, that is boring. <laughs> but uh, that's what beginner casters sometimes fall into the rut of. So just make sure you're commenting on what's happening. What are the, what's the significance of what's happening? is sometimes more important. Um, and also important is uh, checking out those uber advantages. If there's nothing to talk about, talk about uber advantages. Because um, they're right there in the spectator HUD. You can see them very easily, like, oh, Noroski has this huge uber advantage. I wonder if they're going to push off of this. They probably won't because they've been playing very defensively and they want to make sure they hold this last point for a significant amount of time because 4 minutes and 26 seconds is a very short time for 3 points of bad water. I mean, once you start talking about uber advantages, it will then like bleed into other statistic uh, strategic things that are more interesting. So those are just a few quick things about strategy. Let's go back to uh, the kill feed. Definitely look at the kill feed. It will tell you what's happening where you can't see. That's huge for sniper picks and backstabs, those assassin things that are you're not necessarily going to capture on camera because it's not usually where all the action is happening. Uh, so definitely one thing to think about. Um, other things, you could just read over. These are pretty... Um, more like meta things, especially this, like what kind of audience do you want to attract? Um, half of casting is doing it for yourself because you love the game and you want to talk about it. The other half of casting is you want people to watch, right? I mean, you're doing this for yourself. You, you want to have fun, but at the same time, you want someone to appreciate your efforts. So who do you want to, uh, who do you want to attract? Do you want uh, newbies? Do you want mid-level players? Do you want high-level, really uh, experienced players? I mean, personally, I can only speak from personal experience. I'm aiming for somewhere in the middle. I have no experience at the top. I'm not even going to pretend to know how to cast invite sixes. But um, I think I can do... But at the same time, like, some of my um, strategic things, I hope, are a little, little slightly more advanced than, you know, iron. So I, I can comment on gold matches or silver matches, which is fun, and talk about strategy right there. So yeah, so that's what I'm aiming for, kind of mid-level. But at the same time, I'm not super strategic. Um, I try to go for fun puns, and um, I make fun of myself, so you can pretty much just uh, develop a style that um, that you like. And that brings me to the most important point. Th this is something I added on here, because it took me a while to figure this out, and uh, I think the, the casters that have come before me are very strong personalities and characters that have not been easily influenced by other people's trolls, I 
guess I think the ways are saying I think that's a way of saying this. Um, but you cannot please everyone. Um, the only way to do it is to please yourself and to put out a product that you are proud of. And it took me several months to get this into my thick skull. And um, you're going to get comments from people who don't like you, and that sucks, but that's their problem. If you're putting out something you're proud of, that's the most you can do. And uh, something to remember, no matter if you're casting for six people, or how many people? Eleven right now. Okay, sure, why not? Um, or, you know, 2,000, which I have casted for. Um, and it's hard. Sometimes it's harder for the six people than it is for the 2,000. So there's um, definitely something to keep in mind. Practice, practice, practice. Um, summer vacation. If you're a student and you have the next three glorious months with nothing to do, practice, practice, practice. I suggest at least two casts a day. That's what I did last summer. And um, by the end of the summer, I was significantly better than I was at the end. So something to keep in mind. Uh, now that we are done with all that stuff, let's move on to... Um, oh, I should probably get this. I'm just making sure that my sound is still working because it was about this time last last um, tutorial that it, it stopped working, and then I was talking to myself and not recording sound for about 20 minutes. Anyway, let's get to recording. All right. So as you see, we have our fraps going there in the corner. It is ticking away. That is awesome. Um, what I have going on is the video capture hotkey. Mine is set to F9. Whatever you want to do is cool, but that just means uh, when you're going to start recording. So right now we're on pause. What I usually do is um, start and uh, start recording and then start the game at the same time. That makes editing much easier, and I hate editing, so anything that makes it easier is good. And then uh, numbers will turn red. That shows you that you are recording. So uh, now let's, uh, let's get on to interesting action right here. So what's going on right here? We are in the last push of this match. We have Ubers ready to go, well, at least soon for Blue, so we want to get this kind of overview look. Now, I do not have a lot of room on my computer, and uh, Fraps files are huge, so I can't record a lot. So we're just going to get a few quick snips, snippets in here. Uh, I think one of them is going to be this Uber that is coming out. Um, when you see Blue Team pushing with an Uber, go to Heavy or Demo Man. Uh, that will be where your action is. And we're getting Demano right there, just taking out everything. Also getting the Spy Pick really nice. The uh, Red Uber coming in a little too late to stop that destruction. Uh, Red Uber actually going to hold off for just a little bit longer, but uh, Nerovsky took a lot of damage before he was able to pop, so he is kind of dangerous right now. Blue Scout getting in here if he knew that... Oh, Nerovsky actually goes down to some huge stickies right there. Uh, I was not recording that, but uh, that's all the action that did happen. So after that action happened, now we can talk about it. Now we can say, even though the sentry gun went, did go down, Sneaky Scout getting in here, playing, doing some nice work, pushing that cart forward, and uh, whatever. All right, so now we have uh, two clips. We'll go ahead and pause. Um, let's just pretend that's the end of the game. So we'll just do... Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kip. If you have dumb as you want to see cast, definitely hook me up at uh, Flaffleton666. Thank you so much, and have a good day. It's important to have a sign-off. Have a good day is a terrible sign-off, and that was the only thing I could come up with. Um, so yeah. Um, uh, alright, so, that is recording. That is casting. Congratulations, you did it. Now, let's go edit. I use Windows Media Maker, or Movie Maker, because it is so easy, and there's no need to complicate casts with lots of fancy transitions and things. People just want the cast. So, um, I start every cast with my super sweet introduction made by Deagle, um, yeah, so if you could get an intro, a super sweet intro, everybody's jealous. Sal is jealous of my intro. It's it's awesome. Uh, it's one of the things I'm really proud of and I had nothing to do with. Um, so then we go to Fraps. Oh, sorry about that. It's a local disc. Fraps, the movies, that is where your recordings will be. I also have my OBS um, set to record, my local recordings um, be there as well, but just ignore those. So we do have our three little snippets. If we go ahead and select them all, we can import them all at the same time. Sometimes it takes a while. Since these were so short, it should be relatively fast. Uh, when you have like 30 minute halves that you do in one take, it will take about 30 minutes to import it in and uh, very, very long and difficult. And that's, that's just what you got to do though. Um, but as you can see though, these fraps files, um, even with just a few seconds are huge. So. All right, but we are in now. Let's test to make sure sound is working. Oh, we've got to be in here. And then you press play. 
and then uh, numbers will turn red. That shows you that you are recording. There we go. That's my voice. All right, so we are all set. It looks like it's good. Another thing, if you want to add transitions or whatever in there, I have my super sweet Hypnotoad, which I love. <laughs> and I don't care what anyone thinks. See, that's what cast. That's what uh, staying strong and casting is about. It's I have this. I don't care if you like it, but um, but it doesn't take away from the game. Anyway. I'm pretty satisfied with that. That is a, a super sweet cast. Go to movie. I always uh, save it in 720p. I used to uh, save it in 1080p, but it takes a very, very long time to uh, to uh, to uh, render or to save, and then um, it takes a lot of room, and they end up being like 7 gigs, and that ends up taking a lot of time to upload to YouTube. So 720 will be usually under 3 gigs and uh, make your life a little bit easier. So it is two steps. Um, if the second step, you are running TF2 while it is saving this movie, your TF2 will lag like crazy, even if you're just casting. So keep that in mind. So several times I'll be like, why am I lagging? What's going on? It's like, oh, right. My computer's doing severe thinking right now. Um, but it's almost done. And this is really, really short considering, um, well, compared to other casts, I guess. So we are almost done. And that beautiful noise tells us we're done. Thank you. I don't want to watch it. Um, then we'll go up to our YouTube. Make a YouTube. I don't care if you're just streaming on Twitch. Make a YouTube. Uh, I'll show you how to upload from Twitch to YouTube in just a second. But uh, YouTube is just makes things so much easier to find and whatever. So uh, it's saved in my videos. Just pretty much select. Easy enough. I mean, you have your title right here, your description, uh, your separate tags do whatever you want, um, oh, right here, and then add to, um, it's very important to have these different, um, folders or, yeah, different folders, I guess, for the different cast you have, because if someone's like, you know what, I'm really in the mood for some sixes, then they can go there, or, or I'm really in the mood to watch Kip make a fool out of herself, then they can go there, uh, so that's important to have. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cancel this, because I do not want that shit on my YouTube <laughs> Um, but that is pretty much it. Now, let's go to Twitch. This is um, my Twitch. Um, you guys who are watching currently can see it. Wow, 13 people watching me make a, a numbnet of myself. Anyway, so we are in um, my admin page. We'll go to dashboards. I'm not sure if I can do this right now, but, um, since I am currently recording, but if you do go to previously recorded, um, is it still recording? I'm confused now. Did I stop broadcasting? Is it still going? So just mess around with Twitch. <laughs> this is uh, the point right there. I, I don't want it to stop recording. It looks like it did. I'm, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. But mess around with Twitch. Twitch will have a, a highlight feature where you can highlight your recent uh, cast or your recent um, video and then you can upload that to YouTube. So definitely do that. Anyway, <laughs> I think I just messed everything up. Uh, so I apologize about that. Uh, anyway, that's pretty much casting in a nutshell. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm not great with technology. I'm not great with strategy and all this stuff. This is just the way I do it. Um, I hope it helps you uh, get involved and definitely don't be scared. Don't think that you shouldn't be doing it because I really shouldn't have been doing it when I started. I was a steel player who played for one season and three different classes and our team was terrible. But, um, and but the thing is, I just, I saw Sal's cast and I was like, you know what? I want to do that. I don't want to play anymore. I want to do that. So if you have the passion, if you have the time, definitely give it a shot. Um, and then someday you will have, how many of you, how many subscribers do I have right now? That many subscribers, which is amazing. I, I still can't believe that. Um, very, very exciting. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope this has helped you. Again, uh, drop your questions. I will be answering them throughout the summer. I will not be casting, though. Hopefully I'll be able to get a bunch more casts in through the next week or so. But in the meantime, thanks so much for watching and have a good day.